I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Joseph Harrell, the co-founder of Cage Chain. Joseph, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you on today. Thank you for having me, Ashton. Thank you. You're very welcome. I'd like to hear a little bit about uh, Cage Chain and around the Californian community. Could you please give us an overview of the project and uh, tell us a little bit about the support that you guys have received so far? Awesome, thank you. So Cage Chain is, uh, for the most part, a community at this point. Uh, we started out as a opportunity to learn about blockchain technology fundamentals and to learn about uh, cryptocurrency trading starting out. And this has grown organically into uh, what we have now as a community. And during this growth and during this uh, starting out phase, we've, we've built our, our branding through partnerships and um, services, uh, providing services to other blockchain-based businesses and <clears throat> using the blockchain platform to raise awareness uh, regarding its trustlessness and to uh, increase adopters. And um, we have turned out adopters and uh, we, we look forward to continuing our work in the space. That's great, Joseph. And is KCM right now actively marketing its services out to just the California community or how far do your services extend to? Yes, our services are at this point global. We have new syndication partners internationally, um, geographically located in European Union, for example. Uh, in Asia, we have, we have uh, partners as well. Um, and we've, we've entertained conversations from you know, uh, other parts of Asia and look forward to breaking into the Africa market on the media side, um, we're fit. That's great. And what would you say makes Cage Chain most different from the other competitors that are in the same space? I think uh, the leadership. Our our leadership uh, is unlike any other firm out there. We have uh, it's it's a two person founding team. And uh, myself and Kamal, Kamal Hubbard is the other co-founder of Cage Chain. I have a background in finance. And since leaving the traditional finance world, I chose to take my talents and expertise to the blockchain crypto industry. And Kamal has a background in legal and he, he is a lawyer by training and has been a tremendous help for me on, on the legal side of things. And then, you know, me with my um, natural grit and natural hustle to, to want to uh, challenge the limits of the blockchain industry through business, traditional business, uh, we, we've been a force to be reckoned with, but... Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Did I, did I answer your question? Yeah, that's great. And, you know, are you guys working with all different types of blockchains or is it really been a clients that are using Ethereum? There's definitely a lot of other blockchain alternatives coming out now that are starting to compete with Ethereum. Right. On the advisement side of things, uh, it's, it's, it's down to use cases. It's down to it being a case-by-case -case situation. Uh, some, some projects operate better on different blockchains. And um, the, the, the enterprise level of, of blockchains out there, right now, I, say, I must say, are, are a force to be reckoned with because they have the money to put in place the tools that even... The retail or the 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 start the smallest startup out there can find value in. So it's it's 
it's it used to be an arena where you can design your own your own protocol and you know it's the best thing that adds the greatest value for for a particular community but uh the the the, the quorums and the the hyperledgers absolutely are forces to be reckoned with when um some of the smaller guys come up and say they have an idea all they have to do is flip a switch and say yeah we do that too and you know they, it's 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 big bank take take little bank at that point so definitely i agree and it really does depend on the use case and the industry and different blockchains have different specific purposes as well so it's always good to study everything that's going on to know what best fits for your project now we originally met at an event that was in San Francisco, a blockchain event, you know, near the beginning of 2018. And I know that Cage Chain and yourself are still involved deeply in the event space. And you're hosting an event coming up, Blockchain for All, in Oakland. Could you please give us a little bit of overview on what the event is all about and why should people attend? Yeah, no, I'm, <clears throat> I'm happy to introduce Blockchain for All to the event chain community. Um, I think during the beginning of this interview, I was talking about how we've organically grown to a level where we need to be on an interview with the event chain. And I can tell you when we first met going on more than a year ago, uh, there is no reason to be on an interview. So uh, our network and our community has uh, asked us to uh, put on a showcase of the utility of blockchain to, of blockchain utility in cryptocurrencies. And um, one of our ma most major media partners is a local radio sh radio station um, ranked number 10 by Arbitron uh, in the Bay Area. 10th ranked uh, radio station in the Bay Area to uh, host an event that brings into the blockchain technology conversation those that have been left out. In Silicon Valley, uh, there are, are a, uh, there is a, a large demographic of, of people that can afford to be in this environment, that, that have the resources to flourish in this environment. And it's, it's up to me or it's up to, you know, cage chain to uh, let, let, you know, some of the less fortunate people know that there is opportunity. And this looks like hosting an event that allows any and everyone to attend and to basically bring the conversation of blockchain technology mainstream. We've gone to events where I met you and it's everyone's crypto. Everyone has traded crypto. Everyone has invested in crypto. Everyone gets, gets the, the gist of it all. And we all build our, our communities and build our networks to make them stronger with, with like-minded people. So we've taken it upon ourselves to put in the forefront there are people out there that, that don't have the resources that we've had to grow to the levels that we, we that we're at right now. How can we uh, bring them into the fold? And it's an event. And Hedera Hashgraph is one of our biggest sponsors. Um, needless to say, you know they they have they have they have corporations sponsoring their nodes global globally. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> That's uh, that's a conversation for another day, but they they're forced to be reckoned with. Um, the Digital Reserve is a is a strong sp uh, supporter of Cage Chain and, and our continued success. They're a digital cryptocurrency lending platform. Uh, I, I look forward to their success. They uh, Jamari Peterson's an awesome person. He's going to be at the event as well. Awesome and other other you know cryptocurrency projects will be showcased during this event, focusing, focusing on bringing uh, those that want to be in a conversation, the conversation. We're bringing the, the conversation to you. 
And um, we absolutely appreciate the support from the Kapoor Center. Um, if, I, if I have a chance to mention some names as well. That's so awesome. it's, yeah, April 12th. It's called Blockchain for All. We're bringing uh, any and everyone that have been left out of the conversation of blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies to the to the table. Um, we're going to showcase. We're going to have panel. The standard the standard for the crypto industry will have panel discussions. There are going to be solo solo speaking times for people with that, that are prepared to share compelling stories of of success or or a or a, or, or a share a project or a, a finding. This is the this is the this is a forum to be at April twelfth, two thousand nineteen. It's a Friday from two to seven. Uh, I look forward to seeing seeing you there. That's amazing, Joseph. I really appreciate what you guys are doing with this financial inclusion, and the name says it all, right? Blockchain for all, and really in traditional finance, there's been that level of financial literacy that if you just aren't there, you're really not in the in the group, right? So being able to have this ideology of decentralized nature and, full, you know, any everybody is allowed to be included uh, for blockchain for all, that sounds amazing. So uh, we're glad to support that event uh, myself, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the success of it. So this is one of your guys' first events, I believe. Do you guys, are you doing mm. many events or? Uh, well, I want to make sure I put in here as well that um, ticket sales are going to, going to support local, local nonprofits. So, um, and we made it affordable. $20 tickets get you in the house. I think people sneeze twenty dollars accidentally so uh i think uh it's it's twenty dollar tickets and uh these tickets are going to going to support local nonprofits um black girls code is one nonprofit on board the alliance for bay area entrepreneurship is on board uh the the social engineer with kevin nichols is on board and we're in talks with a couple others to confirm their their attendance and participation. But uh, we absolutely are making sure this is a, an affordable event. And for those that don't eat, that can't not afford the ticket charge to get in, we are sponsoring students. So if you're a student, you're viewing this interview, uh, you're looking for. Uh, a, a next career, you're looking to graduate soon, you're looking for uh, some ideas or some potential companies to work for, uh, this is absolutely the event to be at. Um, UC Berkeley, Stanford, uh, Laney College, Merritt College, San Francisco State University, University of San Francisco, um, all Bay Area colleges. Are we invite your students to come out, uh, have a good time, and if you cannot afford it and you're a student, let me know, and I will definitely, de- definitely get some sponsorship. So, especially club uh, campus clubs. If there's any you know viewers of this that 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 are part of a, a campus club um, or organization on campus, and you you have your your club is prepared to go to an event to maybe get some extra credit or something like that on campus, let me know or let, let Ashton know. And we will definitely uh, make a way for, for your club to be, be present at this event. Absolutely. That's very kind of you, Joseph. Thank you so much. And I will leave the event page details uh, in the description box below of the video. And if people are looking to find out more about cage chain, what's the best way for them to learn more? Cagechain.io. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Cagechain Media. Um, our our research is distributed through in the in the form of an email newsletter, and we actually have uh, uh, released our 80th email newsletter edition, our 80th edition of our email newsletter this past week. So um, this that 
the email newsletter campaign is going to continue and we look for we we appreciate the support we appreciate everyone that that appre- that that loves the letter everyone that 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 appreciates the content we're going to keep that going but you can um, sign up for our email newsletter through our website cagechain.io uh, find us at the event the event is blockchainforall.io you can get your tickets through that through blockchainforall.io and you can get your tickets on event chain so I, I think the event chain is link is it event chain uh, dot io slash cage chain. Is that what it is? Or are you going to post it? I'll leave it in the description box below for thank you. Viewers. All right. Ashton leave. Ashton is going to leave the event chain link to buy your tickets, buy your tickets on event chain. And um, we definitely, definitely, definitely going to uh, have a good time. And uh, yeah. You got it. Thank you so much, Joseph, for for the time today. And I'm looking forward to speaking with you again. Right on.